Hey, welcome back to Black Lab Garage. Today we're going, we're doing something kind of different. We're going to be putting a hydraulic loader valve, control valve, whatever you want to call it, on a Massey Ferguson 35 tractor that I have here at the house. You're probably wondering why. Well, just stay tuned at the end of the video and you'll you'll see why. It'll it'll make sense in. We're going to put this valve on. This valve lets you operate an external hydraulic cylinder using the tractor's internal hydraulics. You don't need an external pump or anything. So, I'm going to show you how it's done. You ready? Come on, let's get into it. First thing we want to do is take these two bolts loose on this cover here, this cover. Now, when you start pulling it up, be careful because there's a pipe that comes straight up out of the lift pump up into here. And if you ain't careful, you'll pull the pipe up out of the pump. Now you can put it back. I plan for that bolt to roll off like that. You can put the pipe back, it's just kind of hard to hit the hole. It'd be like when you was a teenager and the first time you ever hooked up with a girl. You'll hit everything around it but what you're supposed to hit. See, I'm just kind of wiggling this one back and forth. And still may not get it. There we go. And the gear, the pipe come out with it. So, when that happens, might as well go ahead and pull it out. Check your O-rings on each end, and if it has a backup washer, uh, check the backup washer. Because some of these used a backup washer, and some didn't. Now, I'm going to try to hit the hole. And if you, you can take this side cover off down here and look in to see if you're in the hole or not. Nope, that ain't it. There it goes. Now if you're in doubt, what you can do, you don't want to actually crank the tractor, but we just want to turn it over and see if oil comes up out of it. Like this. No, don't crank. Here, let me pull the pull wire off. Move the lift up. There, we got all. So we know we're in the hole now. Should you ever run into that? Now you know how to check it without actually cranking the tractor. This kit comes with the crush washers and o-rings and stuff that you need so we're going to take the o-rings one there one there and one there And as cheap as the O-rings are, make sure you use new ones. Don't try to reuse your old ones. Because, you know, you'll have a leak. 
Now, flip this thing around. Kit also comes with uh, two new bolts. Come on, where is it at? There it is. Oops, that's still kind of loose. Now you don't have to be Hercules here, just snug them down. Okay, I'll take these two rubber caps out. Put a washer on one of those bolts and put it through the eyelet of the hose and then put a washer on the bottom and then just start it we're not going to tighten it all the way down yet I'll have to figure out how to how we're going to route them before we tighten them down. And do the same thing again with the other hose. Bolt, the washer, eyelet, and another washer. switch hands here. There we go. Now you can do it this way. I do have, uh, if you can't get it fit in there right, they also give you this piece that you can put in there and it raises it up some. You know, if you want to do that. Now oh, yeah. these two nuts off, this one and this one. Alright, in this case the whole stud come out, but that's okay. Right over that. Make sure I'm the clearance, yeah.
All right, these things come with a nut here. So, <clears throat> put it on there. Okay, I'm not going to put any thread sealer on here because that's a tapered fitting so it should seal up. Worst case scenario if it does leak, I'll take it back off and put some thread sealer on it. But it, being that it's a tapered fitting, it should be okay. Get this hose out of here. Hmm. Okay, excuse me while I cuss really fast. Okay, I took the bracket back off to tighten them up. camera battery just died it don't like the cold for some reason so we're going to finish this up with my phone but anyway put a copper washer on there and start this on there and the other one gets a copper washer and same thing Yes, I would take the plug out since I'm holding the phone with one hand and doing this with the other. It's kind of hard to do. So now, tighten both these up and tighten the fittings up on the uh, valve. Now, the very last step, put, stick the handle in and tighten that set screw. Now, if you notice, I did go ahead and put this adapter in here because I didn't like how it ran the hoses to the side, so I went ahead and used it. I'll leave it up to you as to whether you do or not. Um, so now... Let's crank it up, see if we have any leaks. All right, hopefully you can hear me here. But this selector valve right here, see this will be what actually controls the ports back there. This selector valve, when it's up, you should be able to work three-point arms like normal. When it's down, it'll lock the three-point and send the hydraulic pressure to this control valve so you can work whatever external cylinder you're running. So let's see what happens. Because I doubt you'll be able to hear me with it running. And I hope it cranks because it's only like 32 degrees out here. Oh, yeah. All right. Got it up, so three points should work. Okay, it's 
it's on there. See how even went down. Still staying right there. Now, if you want to work the control valve here, you'll move this one all the way up and this one all the way back. That puts in constant pumping, so now all the pressure is going to this valve right here. And we don't have any leaks. We're good. So now let's move this back down. I don't want to turn the lid back on. Let's see if it starts dropping. There she goes. There you go everything's working like it's supposed to so far anyway in the next video we're going to give it the ultimate test because you're probably sitting there thinking why are you putting hydraulics on the track what does this have to do with trucks and cars not you'll see you know when you're poor like me and it worked by yourself and mess around big block fords those harbor freight cherry pickers just don't just don't uh they, they just ain't enough so I'll, I'll, I'll give you a clue as to what we're doing Now, does it make sense? So, uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, you know, because, you know, hit, hit the little thumb thingy, you know, because I've got dog food to buy. It's $94 a bag now. And by God, they eat. Let me just tell you. But we appreciate each and every one of you. So, stay tuned. I'll be back with another one with this thing. See you